Hello, everyone. I'm Qi Lan from the University of Tokyo. Today, I'm presenting on behalf of my collaborators, Skill, Hideaki, Takuji, and Naomi. Since past one and a half year, we have worked on investigating how changing different facial expressions in profile pictures influence workers' impression towards their unfamiliar colleagues in workplaces when communicating in text. In face-to-face -face interaction, people rely on facial expressions and nonverbal behavior to infer interlocutors' emotion. The gaze, eyebrow movement, shape of the mouth, and the frequency of eye blinking all serve as rich social cues for people to gain mutual understanding, empathize, and infer the emotion of the communicator. Such mutual understanding and empathy lead to effective and healthy communication in virtual teams and can boost trust between each other. However, those rich social cues are unavailable for people to sense in the text-based communication. The only information we could access was the text or emoji people explicitly ex expressed. When we interact with an acquainted person using in text, for example, exchanging messages with newcomers in the company, Past studies have shown that the lack of mutual understanding and insufficient social emotional cues will lead us to form incorrect impression of the message sender and misinterpret the message. Especially when we communicate using only text, studies have shown that without hearing the partner's tone, people tended to give polarized ratings on their partner's personality, but provided with little description. To solve this problem, different approaches have been proposed to add social emotional cues on text chat. For example, adding paralinguistic cues, changing the shape of speech bubbles based on the speech input, or sending emoji automatically based on detecting sender's facial expressions. However, people are hesitant to use emoji or stickers with colleagues when they were unfamiliar with each other in professional settings like workplaces. So in this study, we'd like to investigate if the facial expression of the sender's profile picture could change based on the sentiment of the text message. For instance, showing a smile when sending a happy message, but changing to a sad face when sending a sad message. We'd like to know how would such change influence the receiver's impression and interpretation of the message. And we asked two research questions. First, we'd like to know how does changing facial expressions in profile picture influence receiver's impression towards the sender? And second, we'd like to know how such change of facial expressions influence the receivers interpret the emotion of the message. We focused on two factors. One is emotional congruency between the facial expression and the text. And another factor is whether the facial expression is animated or not. We tested these two factors for neutral, positive, and negative messages. Why we focused on emotional congruency was because if we applied sentiment analysis or other emotional recognition approach to change facial expressions of one's profile picture automatically, it is possible to generate both congruent and incongruent facial expressions. So we'd like to clarify how congruent information, how congruent emotion, such as pairing happy facial expression with happy message, and incongruent emotion, such as angry facial expressions with happy messages, influence receiver's perception. We also examined the animation of the facial expressions. Because there were many commercialized communication services that allow users to set animated profile pictures, like Discord or Line, and the related work has shown that moving facial expression helps people recognize emotion correctly. So with a, we also compared animated, with, animated facial expression with static facial expressions when pairing with neutral, positive, and negative messages. We recruited 186 participants 
and simulated a scenario where a participant received messages from a newcomer in their company. Participant first read different sets of profile pictures paired with neutral, positive, and negative messages, and then selected the emotion they perceived after reading each message. And finally, they rated the impression they had on the sender. Here, because we did not we did not observe any significant effect of animation of the profile picture on receiver's perception of the message, so we highlighted the key findings about emotion congruency in this presentation. If you would like to know more details, please refer to our paper. Okay, so first, we paired happy face with neutral message, angry face with the same neutral message. Neutral message here includes announcements like this is the context of the project. And our result shows that when seeing a happy face next to a neutral message, people had a more positive impression toward the newcomer and also have more positive interpretation of the message compared to seeing an angry face paired with neutral message. Next, when receiving positive messages, Angry facial expression significantly reduced the impression score compared to happy facial expressions. Angry facial expression, which is incongruent with the positive message, also led people to form negative impression and interpret happy message with less positivity. Unexpectedly, if the text had if the text has already conveyed negative emotion, like angry or sad. Participant gave con constantly low impression score to the sender and also interpreted the message negatively, regardless of what the, whether the facial expression is, in, is congruent or not. In other words, any facial expressions in the current experiment setting would not change the impression score and perceived negativity of the message when they receive negative messages. Negative emotion can be sensed by text itself. This result may be beneficial to scenarios where offering different perspective, which is likely to create tensions in collaboration. Study has shown that remote team members tended to worry about sharing different viewpoints or proposing uh, opposite ideas in virtual teams. Under such context, effective profile pictures may be used intentionally to induce a positive impression of the sender and to create empathetic discussion while avoiding conflict among the team members. Based on the finding that incongruent expression would distort the interpretation of positive messages, our study suggests that system designers could allow message senders to select the effective profile pictures based on the emotion they intended to send or suggest users to modify the tone of the message when it was detected as too negative. Taken together, in order to enhance social emotional cues in text messages, we proposed and investigated the effect of effective profile pictures and we found that happy face made people interpret neutral and positive message positively. However, effective profile picture had little effect on negative messages. And whether the profile picture is animated or not would not influence receiver's perception of the sender nor the message. So this is the end of our presentation. Feel free to share your feedback with us during the conference. Thank you very much.